and welcome back to another tutorial for C++. Today I'll be showing you how to display a table um, on a console screen. Uh, you won't have to prompt the user to put anything. Instead this will just display um, a whole bunch of numbers that you, the programmer, asked it to produce. Uh, this time I'm going to show you that this table will display um, the temperature table. Uh, we'll do all three which is Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. Uh, there may be more but uh, I'm not familiar with them. Um, as always we should start out with the blank program and as always you should sign it. Uh, again I'm signing it as Nasmus. Uh, the program name I'm going to call it temperature table display. Uh, this is a bit more complex uh, but it's still good for beginners, especially if you want to know how to align things in console because console applications aren't all for you know, prompt the user for something and get an outcome, get an output. Uh, you can, the programmer can code it so that it displays whatever the programmer wants it to display. So let's start. Excuse me. IO stream. And today we're going to be using something else. It's not math H like we did for the Pythagorean theorem. Instead, we're going to include IO manip. This allows you to manipulate uh, some of the things you see. Uh, it also allows us to use the code set W, which is the set width of the program. It allows you to align things, and I'll show you show that to you when I'm coding it. Um, using namespace standard is something that you should always use to avoid using standard STD in front of all of your equations. Again, you can use int main. I use void main. And once you open it, make sure you close it so that you don't forget later on. Okay, the first thing we would have to do is declare some of the variables. Uh, since temperatures can be in in decimal points we're going to use float instead of integer otherwise everything we do will be in whole value let's do float we'll do celsius fahrenheit and kelvin we won't need anything else the first thing we would want to do is output the on the screen what the values below will be like so we'll do a c out and this is where the uh, include io manip comes into play we can use the the code called set w set w in parentheses you put the width i'm going to put 15 as an example you're going to have to cascade it and now i'm going to put celsius that will be the value we'll be using cascade it again set w 15 cascade it again we'll use fahrenheit fahrenheit and then cascade it again and the last set w will be the 15 is the last spacing between the letters the words i mean excuse me and Kelvin. E, uh, you should also end it, ENDL, just in case, um, I mean, otherwise it'll get uh, stuck together. That's something you don't want. Uh, without this, if you just have this, I'll show you what it looks like without uh, the rest of the coding. System pause. I'll put it in there so the program doesn't shut off immediately. Let's say run it. And this is what it looks like. Uh, you see set W puts uh, spacing of 15 in between each. Uh, and they're a little bit uh, misaligned where you can mess with the numbers to uh, to fix this. For example, uh, let's say there's a bigger space between Kelvin and Celsius. So I'll set this to set W18. And let's run it. You see it looks a little bit better. I mean since Fahrenheit is a bigger word, uh, it uses a bigger space. Okay, now that you have that, we're going to work, start working on the equation. Uh, this is where the for loop comes into play. Uh, it comes into use. I've showed you a video of how to use the for loop before, but I'll show you here again. I like using the for loop. So far, it's the only one I've mastered. There are others. Uh, this is the one I'm comfortable with. First, you want to start out with the word for. And since we're going to start off with Celsius as the base temperature, we we'll type in Celsius. Celsius equals to zero. We're telling the program to start the cells, the count at zero Celsius, and then the next one will determine what the max 
will be equal to Celsius equals to actually less than or equals to let's do 25 well, 25 we have to end that line too and then the next one will show us at what uh, how many values Celsius will increase we'll use one we'll do Celsius equals to Celsius plus one and we close it what this does is it's telling us that Celsius will be Celsius plus one so this be, if this is zero it'll be Celsius equals to zero plus one which is one then this zero turns into one it'll be Celsius plus one to one plus one then it'll be two it'll be two plus one then and until it'll go on until it reaches 25 and then the program will stop and unlike you shouldn't close this either because you'll be using the open brackets again the curved brackets and as always close it before you forget let's do this and uh, this is the this is where the calculations actually begin we'll do Celsius Celsius equals to excuse me uh, Celsius we, we need the first we need the calculation for this one it'll be excuse me, sorry about that Fahrenheit since we're starting off with Celsius Fahrenheit equals to Celsius be 9 divided by 5 times Celsius Celsius plus 32 I believe that's the correct one oh, well, let me check yes it is and then we want to show Kelvin Kelvin equals to this is uh, there are a few ways you can do this you can also do Fahrenheit you can input Fahrenheit here but I'll keep it simple I'll keep it Celsius again Celsius plus 273 that's the correct I believe yes it is and we close it um, there won't be any apples if we run it now you won't see anything useful it's just that we have to output this as well this is where we use another C out let's just see out we're gonna have to use set W again the same values as above to keep things aligned Celsius set W will use 18 here since we used 18 on top set W Fahrenheit cascade again set W 15 Kelvin oh, don't need the quotes the only reason we don't need the quotes here is because we don't want the program to display the words Celsius Fahrenheit and Kelvin we wanted to display the actual values that we get from the equations above. Uh, let's run this now. And as you can see, uh, 0 Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit, 273. As you can see, this is all aligned. And that's thanks to the set W code that we used, the command. Um, but also, as you can see, these aren't exact values, and that's because these this is all displaying whole numbers and not the decimal points. Uh, even though I declare float, uh, this equation here is going to give us only a value of 1 instead of a 1 1.8. So we're going to have to put a decimal point somewhere here. Same thing goes in the bottom equation. It will be 273 point. You, know how you can put a point zero, but it really doesn't matter. You just want to tell the program that this is actually a float. That's one thing I don't like about C++. Uh, some people, some new users can get confused. I've gotten confused in the past. But let's run it. Uh, this looks more about right. 0 is 32. 273 Kelvin sounds about right. 1 is 33.8. Uh, 274. Kelvin will always be a whole number. Three. It goes up to 25 as I indicated in the for loop. You can change this anytime you want. Let's say you want to do this to 100, but you want the Celsius to go up by 10 instead of 1. You press F5 to debug. Let it run. And as you can see, it starts off at 0, 10, 20. It's increased by 10, as I've indicated here. And, and it stops at 100, as I've indicated here. You can also indicate where it starts. Let's say I told it to start at zero. You can tell it to start at 50. We'll close this and then we'll run it again. 
Start off at 50, see it starts off at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And displays the following values. Uh, it's pretty simple. This is just one way that you can do this. Um, you can also, instead of using Celsius as the base, you can turn this into Fahrenheit. You have to turn this into Fahrenheit, this into Fahrenheit, this into Fahrenheit. And, of course, you'll have to put Celsius equals to the Fahrenheit times uh, 5 over 9 minus 32. You, you just have to switch the calculations around. Same thing here. Actually, you can keep, keep this the same. Uh, since you'll get the Celsius value here, but it'll be easier to change. Well, this the set W is very useful when you want to display in tables. Uh, I've used it in the past for classes. It's this is where the programmer has all the control of what's being outputted into the screen, uh, whereas uh, the other programs I've showed you, the user prompts is prompted to put in a value which is then used in the equations for the output. But again, this is simple. This is tutorial for beginners. Uh, you can use this to enhance your skills. This is just something else that um, you can use for console programs, console applications. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, if you want a copy of this program, just let me know and I'll send it over to you. Uh, soon I'll be opening a website where I'll be putting all my videos together. Uh, if you have any requests that you want to see, any equations you want me to try out, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to give it a go for you. Thanks for watching.